Hello, this is Johnny Boy. Today I'm demonstrating my Move Collection of Objects script. In my mission, Property of Mabunga, I created this, this shack that has uh, defensive objects placed on top, so it's kind of a poor man's pirate bunker. You got a machine gun and crates and barrels providing providing cover for the men defending on top, and there's also ammo crates uh, stored inside the shack. So, what I'd like to do in my missions is to uh, is to have objectives placed randomly on the map, not actually randomly, because you want them to be in, in cool places. So I have six pirate camps set up, but only three of them are chosen randomly to be uh, actually utilized by the mission, and the others are, are deleted at runtime. So the mission experience is different each time it runs, but it's a hassle to create <laughs> this bunker to stack all the objects. So I only wanted to do that one time in the Eden editor and create this bunker, but then I want to move it to the uh, location, to one of those six random locations at runtime when the mission starts. So to do that, I create in exact, you know, perfect places on the map the other six uh, shacks that might be the, ma the chosen ammo bunker when the mission runs. So for this little demonstration, I've created only one shack. So you have the source shack where uh, all the objects are, have been defined, and you have a differently placed uh, target shack where you want the shack and all the objects to be moved. Notice that the orientation of the shack is different. It's facing in a different direction, so you know all the object positions have to be maintained to make this correct, and you want the soldiers facing in the right directions, and the machine gun pointed the right direction, etc. So what I have is a script that will take the name of the, uh, the source shack, the source object, and it'll find all objects within 10 within 10 meters of it, a radius of 10 meters, and uh, attach those objects to the source shack. It will then take the position of the target shack and, and remember the position, delete that target shack, and move the uh, source shack to the position of the target shack and face it in the direction of the target shack, and then unattach all the objects so that they become uh, you know, physics affected objects. And I will show, you know, okay, now we will uh, run that script via a trigger. And there you go. All the objects were moved from, you know, the whole shack and all its objects were moved to the, to the target shack and all the orientation of the objects was maintained for how you want them at the new shack. You notice how it just rocked a little bit. And that's because when it moved, it attached all the objects to the shack. And when it landed, it, uh, it reset, it unattached the objects. So in some cases, like this one barrel, the, uh, got a little goofy on where it landed, but most of the time it works fine. You'll also know in a couple of seconds, note that in a couple of seconds, uh, the stacked objects are going to show up. And that's using my separate script, which I've documented elsewhere, that, uh, that'll stack objects. And uh, that was because they would fall over during this move operation, and I want them to appear perfectly stacked. So I believe in a second or two, all the objects, the stacked objects, will appear, and uh, nice and neatly inside. Let's see if that occurs. And you see all my stacked objects using the stacked object scripts. Thanks a lot.